Hey guys, and welcome to the UCAT Study With Me series 2019. We're going to go through all the five sections in the next few videos, from rebel reasoning, to decision making, to quantitative reasoning, to abstract reasoning, to situational judgment. I'll be sharing my thoughts with you whilst I do the questions, to try and help you already start picking up a few of the analytical skills I'm using whilst doing these questions. Let's start off today with some abstract reasoning. There's this learn section, but we'll come back to that later. You guys might find it very useful. Um, so on Medify, I'm going to go now to the practice section. <clears throat> so we're going to do a few um, series questions. So let's do around four questions of each. And I strongly recommend that when you do start off with UCAT revision, you don't give yourself time pressure. Really take it easy, try and work out what's happening. Then the more questions you do and later on your revision, you can start putting on pressure in terms of time. But now, although this says UCAT in the corner, this is all UCAT material, so don't worry about that. Um, and all of this material is useful for those of you both in Australia, uh, New Zealand, and in the UK. The UK exam is on all those countries, so make sure you prepare well. So question one, brilliant. So we have this sort of spiral shape, brilliant. And we have this dotted line which is seeming to go round. Um, so firstly it starts off straight, then it goes um, sort of horizontal, and vertically again, and straight to, it's going to be on the inside here, I think. So we can look at the shapes, so it can't be one, can't be two, can't be three, can't be four it's going to be five, I think. And also we've got this sort of square in the middle. A very simple um, question to start off with. Now, whilst I go through these questions, I do want to um, tell you guys, some of the questions can be quite straightforward, others can be ridiculously hard. So some questions might take us 20, 30 seconds, other questions might take us a minute or so. So here we've got a black pentagon, white pentagon, black pentagon, white pentagon. So the next shape in the series will be a black pentagon, so one, two, or five. We have a black, solid arrow there, that's then in this corner, so it skipped one corner, then it skipped another corner, gone there, skipped another corner, gone there, so the black solid arrow is going to be in this corner, in this shape, so it's going to be A, simple. Let's just check the other arrow to be sure, so we've got this um, sort of harpoon arrow here, then it's gone, skipped one, two, okay, no, it's gone other way, so it's gone, it's skipped, it's rotating clockwise, but it's skipping a corner, so it's gone down here, there it is, then it's skipped another two, so it's gone there. Then it's skipped another two, then it's gone there. So we're going to expect it to be there. The harpoon arrow is going to be there. Perfect. Our answer matches up with that. Great. Let's do another question. Now I'm going to go through the answers, sort of mark it once I've done a few, as opposed to mark it every time. One, two squares, one black, one white, three squares, um, two white, one black. So this kind of looks like a like the snake games where the snake gets longer each um, during each part of the series. So here we've got one, two, three, four, five bits of the snake. And so I'm going to guess that we're going to have six in the next one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. But it can't actually be three because there's no black head of the snake. Um, so it's going to be either one, three, or four. Now we've got a no shape in the middle. We have a black shape, no shape, black shape. So we could assume a black shape in the middle. So it could either be, uh, it could be two. In terms of the shape, that's a circle. This is a circle with um, one straight side, so one side in the circle, a circle with one side, right? Then this circle with sort of a segment cut out, um, I think it's called a chord or something. Um, that's got two sides, the triangle's got three sides, so again, we can assume that we're going to have a, actually no, it won't be a black circle, a black shape, and it'll be a white shape in the middle. So sorry, it should be, um, it should be one, I think. Anyway, so the triangle's got three sides, and the next shape in the middle should have four sides, right? One, um, one, two, three, four. So yes, this has got four sides. It's white, which follows our pattern. Then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Great. That is correct. Let's do one more. So here we've got a diamond. Straight away, I can see the diamond moves to the right, and then it comes back actually. So here it's there. Then it moves across one. Then it goes to the other side. Then it comes back. So my final shape, I'm expecting the diamond to be on the left hand side. It should be either this one or this one, and then we've got a circle which is going from this to then the opposite side of the circle, so it's there, it's coming back to the left and back to the right, so in my answer it should be on the left hand side, okay, two and four have that. I have a grey square there, which is initially in this corner, then it's gone to that corner, but it's gone white, and it's gone to the top corner, it's gone grey, so it should be in this corner I think, it's going round the corners of the square, the big square, and it's changing colour every alternate um, part of the series. So I think it's going to be a grey one in this corner, so it's going to be two. Um, fantastic, let's do one more question. Right, so a bit of dominoes here. Um, 
So we've got, okay, they've all got two bits of the dominoes. Um, let's just count the total. So it's got five in total, six in total, seven in total, eight in total. Brilliant, very easy. So from the series, we should have nine in the next one. So this has got eight, so it can't be one. It could be two. Um, three, no, it's got seven, can't be that. And four has got eight. So already I'm going to think it's going to be two. So in this case, if it was rush for time, I'd just go with two. So I'm just going to analyze the individual um, bits here. So initially I've got two in this one, three in that one, then I've got three, three. And then I've got three, four. And I've got three, five. So that's a, there seems to be no clear pattern as to where we're adding the shapes. Just the total seems to change. So I think my answer should be correct. Let's do one more question, then we'll mark. Um, then we'll do some other types of abstract reasoning questions. So we have, um, okay, this is, so okay, first and foremost, a lot of shapes are going on here. So already it's quite confusing. So we need to be quite careful with how we go. So let's start counting. Um, so I've got circles, I've got two sided shapes here, like the mini orangey bits, triangles and squares. I've got two sided shapes, triangles, squares, pentagons. Triangles, squares, pentagons, hexagon. Okay, fine. So I can see that there are four different groups of shapes, and as we go along the series, like here, the shape with the least number of sides is a circle. But then that increases by one as we go along, because you can see it's one, two, three, four, the number of sides each shape has. This is two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, six. Four, five, six, seven. Because the triangle got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Be careful when counting sort of the sides of intricate shapes. Be very careful with that. So since we're starting at four, my answer should start off with five shapes. So it should start off with a pentagon. It should go pentagon, so five, six, seven, eight. Should be this one. This one is also five, no, this two-sided shape doesn't work. This is five, two, seven, eight. It should be five, there's a hexagon, six, seven, eight. Brilliant. Okay, okay let's mark this. Let's review. Okay, no, let's review. Let's mark it. Yes. Oh. Let's see how this goes. Fantastic. Six out of six. Really good. And also, you can see how long each question took. So, um, let's actually look at the explanation for the uh, for this complicated question because I think this is actually a very complicated question if you don't sort of know what you're looking for. Um, why? As you move along the sequence, the box with the lowest number of shapes has its number of shapes increased by four. Each box with all shapes are identical. The number of shapes matches the number of lines on each of the shapes. Okay, fine. So you even overlooked that. So my sort of um, way of going through this question was far simpler than the actual pattern. Um, and this can actually be quite common for a lot of us. We may not, like each actual sequence may have many different underlying patterns going on. Um, but clearly the pattern I used seemed to work for this, but maybe if I had more time I would have been able to work out more of the patterns. But then again, this is a very time pressured session, um, after reasoning is very time pressured. So you know, even though I took 84 seconds, you know, I didn't get all the patterns. But still, got the correct answer, so that's what matters. Okay, next let's do some complete the statement questions. So, um, okie dokie, let's do two or three of these. Well, this is to that as that is the what is this? Um, okay, so what happens here is we have these lines that seem to come together and tessellate. So we have four straight and four um, vertical. Here we have five sort of horizontal, sorry, and five vertical. So our answer should have five vertical, five horizontal. Yes, we all seem to have that. Great. Um, as you can see, each line here seems to cross over um, like two of the other lines. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine intersections. Okay, so we have eight lines and nine intersections. Two, four, six, nine. Okay, so you might have for ten lines, eleven intersections. Um, this one seems a bit funny um, because you can see that the straight, the horizontal lines don't seem to move position. So most likely, it's not going to be one. Um, the space has increased quite some here. Can't be, I don't think, two. It most likely, I think, will be. Um, 
Most likely, I think it will be D. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh gosh, that's a lot of insertions. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be that there. Because they're all connected and the lines are in the right place. Right, let's do some more um, get the same questions. So we have, oh gosh, a triangle within some stripes as some, uh, like, you know, a square and some black shapes. Um, or is this, is that? Okay, so firstly, I think the colours will be inverted. So we're going to have a grey shape within a, a black shape. And we don't have that. Um, okay, so that rule doesn't work. Um, we have this arrow has got seven sides. Can that work? Not really. Um, we can see that this outside shape here is a, is a quadrilateral. Then we have a quadrilateral inside. So possibly we'll have a shape where we have um, this sort of uh, trapezoid or trapezium inside, which is only this one. Um, what else can we work out? Yeah, I think that's technically all there is to go by. <laughs> How many sides does that have? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay. So for the same number of sides. So the inside shape, which is an arrow here, has got seven sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the outside shape has got seven. So the inside shape, this bow has got one, two, three, four, five, six. And this arrow has got One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That doesn't work. Maybe it's this one in that case, because the inside shape has got six sides. This hexagon has got six sides. The outside shape is a quadrilateral. The inside shape is a quadrilateral. So it's going to be that one, I think. Okay. Next one. Let's do one more, and then we're, we'll call it today. So um, we have... Okay, let's just look at this. For example, it's the first one. Um, we have this sort of bridge, the bridge then flips around 180 degrees, goes to the bottom, then goes across, flips another 180 degrees, then goes to the top, then it's changed colour when it's not here. Very interesting. Um, right? <laughs> um, okay, let's come back to that because it doesn't really give us much of an idea. Um, we have a black in the middle white in the middle, a green in the middle, and a black in the middle. So you might still have a white in the middle. Okay, everyone, everything has a white in the middle. Then we've got three black, two white, two black, one white, two grey, four black, one white, three black, two whites. Um, so three, two, four, three. So maybe you have another two blacks, I think. Because maybe you're getting three, two, four, three, two. Then number of greys, you have two, one, zero. So you might have two greys again. So two black, two greys, one white. Just going to keep this one, this one, this one. Okay, they all have that. Let's look at the actual shape. So this is there, that is upside down, upside down again. So this sort of trapezium is upside down there, upside down there, upside down there. It's going to be facing upwards. So it's this or this. Um, and then let's look at the moon now. The moon swaps that way. Then it comes down, tops again, then it reflects again. So it's going to be reflected that way. It's going to be this answer, I think. Did you say the moon is also flipping size? Um, okay, none of the regressions. Let's see how we did. Ooh. Ah, fingers crossed this will be okay. Fantastic, all three correct. Um, but okay, let's go through the reasoning swiftly for them. The horizontal lines don't change position, brilliant. All the vertical lines move. So they intersect at least two horizontal lines. Okay, so we kind of got it right. Um, yeah, I'll give you like a second to pause and look at this reasoning here. But we got the reasoning, perfect. Um, then this last one. Yep, the symbols sort of move anticlockwise and rotate and reflect. Brilliant. Um, feedback is fantastic. This sort of uh, session of abstract reasoning was useful. And if you do like these, do let me know and we can do more of these in the future. If you have any questions on Medify, do go and check out the video um, down below. Um, so I explain sort of Medify and how it works. 
Um, anyway, yes, good luck with the revision, and I'll see you in the next video where we'll go through a different section. Um, it's actually quite fun, wasn't it? Alright, I'll see you guys soon. Take care.